All right. Well, school is currently out for the summer for students across the Maritimes, but it's out forever for an old school bus that's in the middle of a transformation. A couple in Berwick, Nova Scotia is renovating the bus, so it's a little more homey as they set out on a journey that will take them across North America. Here's CTV's Matt Woodman. From the outside, it looks like any other school bus, but when you step inside, you can tell this bus is heading anywhere but the schoolyard. That's because this rig doubles as this couple's home. And neither one of us has built a house or anything before, so the idea of framing a house was a bit intimidating. So we like the idea that the school bus already has a frame and we just kind of have to take stuff out and build onto it. Tired of renting and not wanting to be tied down by a mortgage, Gable and Emily Goulet like the flexibility that comes with having their home on four wheels. The tiny living is a great opportunity for people to uh, just get away from this debt cycle that a lot of people are facing now. Like housing is so expensive right now. The bus itself only costs $3,500, but after building supplies, we'll have a price tag of about twenty dollars to $25,000. Gable's an electrician, so that really helps, and he's wired up everything we're going to need. We're going to be attached to solar eventually. As you can see, the bus is coming along nicely, but there's still a lot of work left to be done if they want to have it completed by the end of October. A lot of that hard work has already been finished though. The toughest part was ripping out the chairs and grinding down the rust on the floor. That took about three days. Back here, there's going to be a queen size bed. So it'll be raised up, there'll be storage here and then a space underneath. Spray foam insulation lines the walls, laminate flooring and wood ceilings cover it up. And soon, this bus will have all the amenities. You're going to have a fridge, your couch, a bed, like you're going to have everything you would have in a regular house. You're a TV, you could put a gaming system in there. Yes, even a shower and toilet. It's not as gross as people think it is. And once it's complete, home will be wherever they want it to be. Hopefully over Christmas time we'll be able to take it somewhere on a vacation. Maybe we'll go California, maybe we'll come back east, maybe we'll go Montana. I don't know, we haven't decided. On Monday, they're heading to Calgary for work, a trip that will cost about $1,200 in diesel fuel. It'd be cheaper than both of us buying plane tickets. Um, and it's a lot more fun uh, driving across Canada and parking wherever we want. Some couples may not like the tiny living quarters. It's brought us closer together and made us more of a team, but yeah. I would recommend <laughs> if you're in a bad spot. You can have some pretty good fights. <laughs> But the Goulets are more than excited to make the cozy cross-country journey. Matt Woodman, CTV News, Berwick, Nova Scotia.